Hi, in today's tech tip video, we'll take a look at how to work with feature version components. Feature version components is what we call in SOLIDWORKS when you save a file in a later version but open it in an earlier version. Now with 2021 on the horizon, I wanted to introduce you to this concept. For example, if you are trying to open up a 2020 SOLIDWORKS file in 2019, you need SOLIDWORKS 2019 Service Pack 5, like you see on my screen, SP5, in order to open up a 2020 file. So it's the same thing for any of the earlier versions. If you're working in SOLIDWORKS 2018 and you want to open up a 2019 file, you can do so with 2018 SP5. It is only supported between consecutive releases, so it needs to be service pack of the previous release in order to use the uh, future version capability. If you have any further questions about future versions, please reach out to Trimic. But here, uh, as you can see, I'm working in SOLIDWORKS 2019 SP5 and I've opened up a SOLIDWORKS 2020 file. When I open up this file, SOLIDWORKS automatically recognizes it as a 2020 file and gives me an indication that it is a future version file. Now it is very limited in what it can do. We are really limited to four things here. One is we can view the configurations. So I can take a look at the configurations of this um, component. I can also use the measure So I can take a look at the measurements for it still. I can also do mass properties. So the material of this um, is retained. And so we can use that as part of our mass properties. And I can move it around and view it uh, as I normally would. All right. So this is when you open up a part file in as a future version. You can also use your future version file inside of an assembly. So in this particular example, I'm going to open up in an assembly that will utilize that linkage arm. So here, all I have to do is come up here to the top and say insert components and you can see preview and comes in. It is a special component. You can see the icon is different from my typical components. And you can also see that I'm limited in what I see in the feature tree. Right click and you won't see the option to edit part as you normally would with your other components in your assembly. But we have a little bit more capability inside of an assembly. So I can mate this and position this correctly. So I can grab entities, make relations like so. I can suppress, unsuppress this component at will. I can use interference detection for this future version. So if I come up here to the top, no interferences, but if I treat coincidences as interferences, you can see it detects that area. So from here, I can also create drawings. So if I come here to the top, make a drawing from assembly. So although you can open up components and use those components inside assemblies from the future version, you can't open a drawing that was saved in a future version. You can see the arm located inside the drawing. When I pull up the building materials for this, and as you can see when I pull up the building materials, it's treated normally. And as you can see, item 8 is listed for our robot arm left. Thanks for watching this tech tip video and please stay tuned for more.